Beautiful Heidelberg and its old bridge became the centre of attention on Monday. Sports stars and VIPs gathered to kick off a 24-hour charity marathon that was part of the one year to go 2015 Solheim Cup celebrations held at the nearby San Leon Rock Golf Club. German sporting legends Steffi Graf and Franz Beckenbauer joined a star-studded golfing lineup to try their hand at the Golden Charity Shot, a challenge to hit a floating target on the River Necker that runs through the picturesque town. Each shot that hit the target raised 1,000 euros for different causes including the Franz Beckenbauer Foundation and German School Sports Foundation. This event on the bridge is unbelievable and demonstrates the great ideas St. Leon Rock Golf Club has. Generally, I think the one year to go event is a fantastic occasion and especially this idea to hit balls from the bridge to the floating island because the people from Heidelberg can take part and watch. It's time to run as many promotions for the Solheim Cup as possible for this incredible event in 2015. It was great to see so many youngsters mixing with celebrities and with many of them on target. The running total soon started ticking over. I'm really surprised because I hit the island three times. I took some hints and tips from a friend beforehand. I thought I might hit it once, but then I hit all three. Franz Beckenbauer was keen to get involved too and attracted some admiring looks from the locals. Before Steffi Graf rolled back the years and found the target using that trusty forehand that earned her 18 Grand Slam singles titles during a glittering tennis career. Next, it was the turn of the professional golfers to show them all how it's done. I think the Solheim Cup will be very important for German golf. For us, it's the biggest event in ladies' golf. There's great enthusiasm around this event this week, and we need to transfer this excitement to the people outside the sport. I always get goosebumps when I think about it, and there'll be plenty of motivation for all the young kids coming to watch the Solheim Cup in 2015. Well, I think one of the most important things is to have a really good team atmosphere, you know, just to have fun together. Uh, we're all there to win. That's our main prerogative, is to win the Solheim Cup and, and keep it in Europe. I expect a lot of great crowds, a lot of good golf and some good competition. I'm so happy the people are interested and there are so many people here this afternoon and I hope the charities will be successful too. After a highly successful and enjoyable afternoon, the golfers had raised an impressive total of 37,000 euros. The beautiful and historic city of Heidelberg and the region of Rhein-Neckar has officially begun the one year to go countdown to the 2015 Solheim Cup that will be held at the stunning St. Leon Roth Golf Club next September. Heidelberg is well known as a sporting mecca which makes the Rhein-Neckar region the perfect host for next year's staging of what is the biggest event in women's golf. Yeah, we're always looking for outstanding sports events that help raise the profile of the region and the Solheim Cup is definitely one of those events. It's the biggest women's golf event of 2015 and it's fantastic we're able to bring this event to our region. For two days Heidelberg celebrated the start of the countdown to the Solheim Cup with all sorts of fun and inclusive events with the aim of promoting the sport amongst the German public. Officials enlisted the help of the wider sports community, sports stars such as handball team the Rhein-Neckar Lions, who met fans, took part in Q&As and joined forces to raise the profile of the event. The Rhein-Neckar region boasts an incredible 2,700 sports clubs with almost 1 million members. We're very lucky that we have 51 different clubs in this area that play at the highest level and golf is one of those. But on the other hand, golf doesn't attract the focus it deserves. 
That's why we need two things to be successful. One, we need top athletes from this region who inspire youngsters. And we need big sporting events that attract fans. We're very happy because with the 2015 Solheim Cup, we have a major event here, and we hope that event inspires youngsters as well as adults. Talking golf is one thing, of course, but getting to grips with what can seem a difficult sport to play is another. But that didn't stop Heidelberg's young and old embracing the activities on offer, and they quickly began to realize just what a rewarding and enjoyable sport golf can be. Organizers will be hoping the enthusiasm and excitement created over the two days of events will continue to build over the next year as the countdown continues. We'd like to attract 100,000 fans and that the American and European teams will be supported by 30,000 fans every day. That's why we're here today promoting and shouting about the event. We've got cross golf, urban golf and snag golf for everybody to try. They all need a different equipment and Ping has made it possible for everybody to have a go. The theme of the weekend was very much focused on those involved driving interest in the game in the hope of attracting sports fans who might never have watched live golf before. Filling up golf courses with non-golfers will be difficult, but if any region can do it, this one can. And the proof was there for all to see. The enthusiasm and excitement was infectious and Heidelberg, Rhein-Neckar and San Leon Roth are ready for the biggest event in women's golf.